And all of these are going to lead to one massive geophysical event that's really going to rock it. So when this hits, they're going to try to maintain control. So go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. You can get NordVPN. It's the easiest VPN out there. It's the most powerful. It's the fastest. It's so easy. My mom can use it. So head over to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. Thank you, Dex. Again, that's marfuglenews.com slash VPN. And you get special savings with the code marfugal. You are live on Marfugal TV. Uh, What is going on, Roy? Yes, sir. It's good to talk to you again, Brother Adam. Hey, so you've got uh, a video here, and it looks like it's a it's one from Camelot Project. Is that correct? Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Remember, um, last time I called in, I we discussed that document and roundabouts and how they were to be used as checkpoints in the army document and stuff. Oh, and yeah. With what's going on? Yeah, with what's going on in Washington, isn't that interesting? You know, how they're taking that base and redoing it. Um, But in a side note, you guys made a clip about that, and it had nothing to do with uh, what's going on in China. And when all of your videos got purged, that clip, 20-minute clip you had titled, This Is Not Summer Camp, they took that off too. But um, anyway... What I wanted, in 2009, they posted this in 2010, this uh, video from Project Camelot. This guy had, he interviewed a guy who had been in a meeting with a lot of the elite. And they said uh, that the plan was to stir up um, big confrontation with uh, Ryan and to try to get them to retaliate so it would start a, a major conflict. And remember, this is 2010, and then they were going to put uh, a bioengineered virus in China, and it was going to spread worldwide. And the purpose was so they could deploy troops all over the place and have everything established because they're expecting a huge geophysical event. And I mean, if you look at the seed bank, you look at uh, you know the elite. Oh, weird. The seed yeah, banks, right? all these stories about them putting like the uh, the uh, the Noah's Ark of seeds in these crazy uh, frozen banks in mountains and stuff. Is that what you're talking about? Right. Exactly. Like they're preparing they're, for something it, to cl- cl- clear us out. And then we're talking about the 33-year uh, mini ice age. Holy moly. That's yeah, a, that's it, yeah, a crazy it, it, theory. It, it, yeah, it really all connects when you look at it, but people really don't, um, I don't know if it's the normalcy bias. I mean, it, it's, it really is well, right he, there in there's front a of the thing, though, when this, there's so many, I, I've actually gone down five different roads that all make perfect, you know, quantitative sense, but sometimes our brains want to see patterns too. So, no, I, I actually I think it's pretty crazy. In, in fact, the, the stuff that I've covered even. Uh, how we've covered that, how they're storing, uh, remember the story about they're covering, you know, they're putting all that marijuana seeds and all these other things. Uh, they're, they're literally taking one seed from every fruit, everything like literally it's Noah's Ark. They're taking sperm samples from different animals. They're taking frozen things, all sorts of stuff. And they're putting it in kind of a Noah's Ark of, uh, genomes and genetics and they're bearing, and th- this is multiple places all over the world. Like every country's doing it for some reason, like right now. So after covering that, it totally does make sense when you look at all these things. But then again, all these other things, like the bio kind of Patriot Act, that makes sense too. There's a, every which way you look at it, kind of does. It does. And you look at the increase in volcanoes, you look at the increase in earthquakes. Um, they're obviously very worried about the Cascadia, you know, subduction zone. And all of these are going to lead to one massive geophysical event that's really going to rock it. And what they're trying to do is get the get control ahead of time to get as, as much control as they can. So when this hits, they're going to try to maintain control. So... Wow. I thought that well, was really interesting. No, very interesting. And is this Roy Jr. or Roy Sr., by the way? We've had you and your son 
Colin. I think it's soon, senior, yeah, right? It is. Yeah, we do sound an awful lot alike. Sometimes my wife can't even tell the difference. I'm uh, sorry. No, but and I apologize. At his house. You guys do. He look. He no, sounds a little bit wrong. younger, or uh, I guess I should say less experienced. Yeah. But but no no he's listening at his house so you m give him a shout out if you Roy will. Jr. What is up? Uh, you guys can call in again of course together. That was a fun. That was a good show. We we clipped that and put it on main channel. That that was because uh, that right. document and, was a trip. And they yanked that. Yeah, and they and that was the clip they took off when they purged all your other stuff. I know. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I know. Yeah, of course, because it said about the roundabouts and checkpoints. Yeah, and all the ammunition, you know, the one point whatever billion rounds they're buying. And uh, so anyway, I, I just thought it, it really is all falling together, and it's really kind of right in front of our face. It's, uh, so it's you're absolutely it's creepy. right. It's time to prepare. Over the yeah. target. Well, so thank you. Anyway, that's thank all you, I Roy. Uh, Roy Sr., you have yeah. a wonderful night, okay? You too. Oh, can I say one more quick thing? Of course. Okay, thank you. Um on that video, because um, the, the main show's still up, about two minutes and 28 seconds into where me and you are talking about this internment document, and you say, hey, is this okay for us to have? It's not you. It's not Dex. There's a third party in the background. You can hear whisper, no. If you have earbuds on, you can hear it. It's super creepy, dude. I mean, Wait, 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 wait. This is in my video? Yeah, that's in your video, yeah. Um, when me and you were talking about two minutes, 28 seconds into it, you say, hey, is this document okay for us to have? And you hear a voice in the background go, no. <laughs> I've never, uh, right, that's crazy. Creepy. It is, it's not you or Dex. Listen to it, yeah. I'm going to listen, so now I have to. Getting, yeah, you're getting somebody's attention, brother man. All right. Well, thank you, Roy. You're you're always a pleasure yeah. to talk to you and, and tell your son to call in next, okay? And we're you guys call in together, but we'll, you, yeah, we will. We'll call in together. It's always good talking to you. Thank you, and we love you guys and Fugle Fam. And you guys have a good night. All right, Marf out. Now, if you guys want to support us in a different way, of course, uh, I don't think people realize the seriousness of this. Uh, we are going to have some guests on that will actually prove. Uh, what we have talked about, we are all about protecting everyone in the Fugle fam. Uh, this, again, was something that we recommended before, and we will after if they are not affiliated or affiliates with us. Um, EMP Shield is essentially a device that you can get for multiple things in your home that protects against an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. It actually protects against a CME, a coronal mass ejection as well, and it can handle all three phases of an E1, E2, and an E3. These guys work with the DOD, Homeland Security, and now they are officially part of the DEMSO team in Texas. They are officially protecting, uh, help, helping protect uh, the Texas grid. They do stuff in the top secret levels too. Uh, this company is absolutely amazing. They do everything by hand. They're building them out of Kansas. And then, of course, it's 100% American made and veteran owned. Uh, if you haven't met Andrew, Andrew's come on a, a few times. Uh, the people from there really do care about their customers. And again, this is something that is a huge threat. And we just had last year uh, the H, uh, Homeland Security actually tell us that we need six months to a year worth of food because they know something is coming. I mean, you know, these things are all things that you can prepare for. As far as a generator, what good is it if it doesn't work? You could have 20,000 gallons of gas, but if it gets shocked out, it's good. This thing basically, uh, it grounds the signal before it fries your devices. So again, you can get one for your car, you can get one for your house, you can get one for your solar system, your ham radio. Uh, you can get it for all sorts of different items, even your boat. So make sure to check it out. Of course, that is marfuglenews.com slash EMP.